sleeping soul take flight take me through the I'm out of wine and flowers so I hope an introduction will suffice my name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. But I do like a good den of debauchery. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible. Just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> It's just that I happen to be a, uh, uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. And you're lucky I'm not a true vampire. Alas, I'm just a spawn. All of the hunger, few of the powers. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. I was a slave, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. Uh, to the public, Cazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. <laughs> Chazador. Sired seven spawn, me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all, but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. I felt paralyzed to do anything about Cazador for so many decades. I gave up on myself. I gave up on any hope of escape after a few lashes. Still, that was the past. I can be better than him. Stronger, more powerful. I have no objection to being nice, of course, once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> These tadpoles are a gift I intend to use to the fullest. Now that I can walk in the sun, <laughs> well, that opens all manner of doors. I can walk in sunlight, trespass upon any home, manipulate minds. Granted, the looming doom is an issue, but why not enjoy the benefits while we can? Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. The plan is simple. Find him. Stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. So that'll be nice. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better. And for worse.
I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. See you later, darling.